I'm sure the people that work here think I'm completely insane. I've been sunbathing over there, filming myself for the past hour and a half, trying to flip my hat up on my head about 500 times. Way too loud in here. Not for filming. For me at 9.15 in the morning. On Gia Familia. I'm not awake. Still in Campinas. Yeah, I'm in a conundrum. Tomorrow the parties for carnival start. So we have to leave the house tomorrow like 11 a.m. Which means that I have to wake up early and edit a vlog. Which means that today I have to film two vlogs. So we're going back to Naga. I figured I'd go ride for a little bit before we head back to Sao Paulo. Also, remember when I said find something that you love in a language and dive into it? Wacky Borgi. No, literally, that is what Google Translate has for wakeboarding, is Wacky Borgi. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it right here. Wacky Borgi. Wacky Borgi. Bom dia. Tudo bom? Onde você vai? Ah, Naga. So we just made it here to Naga, and it's closed. I convinced one of the dudes that works here to let me come hang out until, until I have to go. I know what some of you are thinking, that this is a vlog at a wakeboard cable park, or the other day I was at a beach. That is very much language acquisition. That is where our society gets language acquisition all wrong. We think that you have to sit in a classroom, you have to study vocab, you have to study grammar lessons. What you need to do is find something that you love in another language and immerse yourself in it. For example, if this vlog had gone according to plan, I was actually going to go try and find some wake skaters, some wakeboarders that live here in Brazil, and I was going to sit down and talk to them about the wakeboard and wake skating world here in Brazil and what that's like. Coming from Orlando, the wakeboard capital of the world, that fascinates me and motivates me to learn the language and it's fun. And therefore, I'm not bored with the language, which is exactly what language acquisition has to be. It's not a classroom, it's not in a grammar book, it's finding a topic or a subject or something that you love. Find it in that other language and just dive into it. That, my friends, is what I'm doing. I really like that snappy thing. Sunbathing in Portuguese. I literally came to Naga just to take a shower. I'm sure the people that work here think I'm completely insane. I've been sunbathing over there, filming myself for the past hour and a half, trying to flip my hat up on my head about 500 times. Seriously though, go on Google Translate English to Portuguese and type in wakeboard, wake skate, hot dog, uh, YouTube, wacky bargy, wacky skatey, kiki flippy, very ali flippy. Shobi Ichi. Alright, it's time to go. What you guys aren't seeing in my life here in Brazil 
is, is like me paying for things and ordering food and I can include more of that in the vlogs. Little seemingly mundane, uninteresting things I'm not putting in the vlogs and I'm just showing me at the beach, I'm just showing me wake skating, just showing me exploring, doing touristy things. But in between all of that is where the language acquisition is happening. I'm simply showing you guys all the fun stuff. How you can take language acquisition and make that a fun experience. Which brings me to my next point. I'm approaching the two month mark here in Brazil. I have one month left to ameliorate my Portuguese as much as possible. So I want to test it. I want to figure out some way to test my Portuguese skills. It could be a speech, it could be a get together, any kind of ideas that you guys have that would be the best way to really test my level of Portuguese. Comments below. Post it. Like I said before, today is interesting because I have to do two vlogs in one day. The reason for that is because the Carnival Festival starts tomorrow. We've got to leave early, so I'm leaving Naga now. Amanda's coming to pick me up. We're going back to Sao Paulo. And I'm starting a new vlog when I get back into Sao Paulo to edit tomorrow and post before we go. Don't worry about it. Just subscribe and hit that little notifications button so whenever I post a video, you, you know. Seriously though, where's Amanda at? There she is. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Boa noite.